turning into an icicle out here. Welcome back, Aloy. I see you have recovered Poseidon. Aloy, can you come downstairs? Beta has something you need to hear. Okay. I'll be right down. Aloy, I have managed to unlock additional rooms within the facility. Got it. Whoever replaced parchment for this deserves a good hand. Hi! <laughs> Happy birthday, Isaac. Daddy sure does love his little big man. She found that recording from the Daddy data on your focus. She's been watching it a lot. I think it helps calm her. You know, I used to watch this a lot too. Whenever I wanted to take my mind off things. Daddy sure does love his little big. But there's something you need to tell me? While you were gone, I came down here to check on her. Then we started talking. Right, Beta? She's been thinking about how to capture Hephaestus, you know, studying the data Gaia gave her. But we started talking about some other stuff. You know, just getting to know each other, right? And then she told me that one of the Zeniths might be different from the others. Tilda. You saw her at the Hades Proving Lab. Go on. On the way to Earth, the Zeniths never showed their faces. My servitor caretaker referred to them as my benefactors, and promised I'd meet them someday, when I had learned enough. And then, one day, a data channel opened in my training interface. In it, Tilda was waiting for me, in a virtual replica of a house on a cliff overlooking the ocean. It was beautiful. She showed me paintings, books, media files. We met there in secret many times. But a few months later, it stopped. Can you tell us why, Beta? I found some data about Tilda at the Hades Proving Lab. I think she was a liaison between Far Zenith and Zero Dawn. She knew Elizabeth Sobek, that's for sure. Maybe that's why she reached out to you? What else can you tell us about Tilda? She... liked to talk about her paintings. What about herself? Did she ever talk about her life on Earth? How she joined the Zeniths? Something like that? She never said much about herself, and she hated it when I asked too many questions. But I think, back on Earth, she was an expert programmer, given that she built a data channel the other Zeniths couldn't detect. 
Is there anything else about her that we might be able to use to our advantage? She was the first real person who ever bothered to speak to me. I wasn't really assessing her for strengths and weaknesses. You said that Tilda reached out to you using a data channel? It appeared in my training interface as another assignment. When I opened it, there were a series of intermittent glitches. I realized they formed a transpositional cipher. Instructions on how to open up a new virtual space. When I entered it, my training interface disappeared. Instead of the usual holographic teachers and files, I was in a perfect recreation of her home. And you're sure the other Zeniths never knew about it? To them, it looked like I was still in training. Toiling away. Alone. So this secret virtual space looked like a house with an ocean view? I could see white caps and hear waves crashing on rocks below. And there were gulls crying outside. Inside, Tilda had frames that showed off her favorite paintings, changing at intervals to match the light. There was an armchair she liked. She'd sit there and gaze outside while I looked through her things. We spent hours in that house. I never wanted to leave. You said Tilda showed you paintings and let you access media files? Every time we met, she showed me a new painting. I, I think she was Dutch. All of her favorite pieces were from their golden age in the 1600s. Portraits, allegories, ships at sea. She had so many. Did it interest you? I liked her media portal. It had so much more than my training interface. Clips, shows, hollows. My favorite was this one called Second Time Around, about a family whose kid comes back after disappearing during the hot zone crisis. Right, but did this portal have anything about the Zeniths themselves? Anything we could use? No. Any information about them was redacted. So Tilda set up a secret virtual space where she could talk to you, a house on a cliff. Then later, she cut you off. But other than the fact that Tilda knew Elizabeth, you don't know why she did those things? I don't, okay? I thought of every possible reason that would make her leave, but whatever I did wrong, I don't know what it is. When I finally met the others, she ignored me. Acted like the data channel never existed. None of this even matters. Tilda's the same as the others. It won't help us defeat them. Okay. Let's leave it at that, then. What's wrong? I'm trying, Varl. But she is tough to take. I'm out there in the wilds, risking my life every day, and all she can do is hide in there and tell us how hopeless it all is. I'm sorry, she's had a rough time, but she is really not helping right now. Hmm. You always seem to be on top of everything, so I sometimes forget about what you've been through. I mean, it wasn't that long ago you were so banged up you couldn't even walk. About that. When I pulled you out of the water back near the proving lab, you were muttering Rost's name. You never talk about him, but he raised you trained you. You must miss him a lot. Of course I do. But I don't have time to think about that now. I need to get back out there. Okay. I'll keep working with Beta. Gaia says she knows a lot about Zero Dawn. And maybe she just needs some time to adjust, and then she can help us with Hephaestus. Sure. But I won't hold my breath. Are you sure? 
sure that's what the data says? I'm telling you, it's a drink. How is it soft? It says here it had bubbles in it. Well, we can't expect to make sense out of everything the old ones did. Aloy. Hey, how's everything going? I am well, but Varl told me Beta's having a hard time adjusting to life here with us. I wish there was something I could do to help. I'm not sure any of us can. A tree won't bear fruit in a day. We'll do our best to make her feel welcome. There is something I'd like to discuss. It's about the land gods. If you have time, that is. You said you wanted to talk about the land gods? I think there's a way to heal them so that they'll once again provide plain song with grain. Gaia gave me a set of instructions. She called it a uh, reboot code. If we deliver it to the land gods, their derangement will end. That's great. It may be. There are thorns on the path. Unless the code is given by Hephaestus, the land gods will reject it. Gaia showed me a way around this. We need components called control cores from machines made by Hephaestus. Machines similar to the land gods. You mean Grimhorns? Like the one we fought in the repair bay? Yes. Gaia helped me locate two of them out west. So, kill the machines, get the control cores, then use them to adapt the reboot code into something the land gods will obey? If all goes well, but taking down two Grimhorns won't be easy. We'll do it together. Bless you, Aloy. I'll send you the location of the machines. I should get going. Good luck on your search. This is where Zoe said we'd find the Grimhorns she needs parts from to heal Plainsong's land gods. I should let her know I'm here. Hey, Zoe. I'm near the Grimhorn site. Can you join me? I'll be there soon. Aloy, I'm glad we can do this together. The Grimhorns we're looking for should be just to the north. Let's go get those control cores. Thank you again for helping me. If this works, if we can heal the land gods, it will end a generation of suffering for my people. How do you think fame and the chorus will take it? They seem to think the tribe's extinction is inevitable. I've had my disagreements with them, but I'd like to see they'll be happy to be wrong on this. Grimhorns. And they're not alone. We'll just have to be smart about this. I'll follow your lead. No point using fire against that.
here. See me.
That hunter killer means trouble. Could hit it with acid. 